Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is Sir David the Bard. Whoever the hell that is. I'm coming to you out of Australia from Kangaroo City. And I haven't recorded for a few days because I didn't feel like it. I think they're my moods with bipolar. I think when I'm manic, I love to record. And when I'm uh, depressed, I go, screw it. <laughs> Let the people die. I don't care. I don't think anyone dies if I don't record. Anyway, let me tell you, uh, I wish I had a message. <laughs> I don't. Let me tell you what happened this morning. My sweet wife from the Philippines, um, she works day and night. I mean, the girl just works and never m missed a day, never had uh, sick time and all that stuff. We buy, <laughs> goddamn, $4,000 water here. It has a warranty on it until Jesus comes. <laughs> it's 200,000 BTUs. You can turn every hot water device on in the house. Dishwasher, washer, all the faucets, kitchen, bathrooms. We've got three bathrooms. <laughs> it, can, it can handle all of those. Well, uh, <laughs> how did I get here with you people? What the hell did I do? I get the best plumbers. I get the best guarantees. I get the I oversee the work personally. So the water heater is working fine all the time they install the water heater. Well, when I get a glass of water from the kitchen and there's more shit in that than there is in my toilet, I go, "You know what? I don't want that." So we install a $3,000 water purifier. Halo. Five stage halo. Well, the water started to clear up. The cloudies in the ice I found out are normal. That has nothing to do with my water. It has to do with the air. And if the ice cube freezes from the outside in, it captures that air and your ice cube uh, looks like an iceberg. It's white. If you have a special machine and shelter the water, and you have a pipe that goes up through it, you know, you've seen those uh, ice cubes that are round? Well, it cools the water from the inside of the cube out, so it pushes all the air bubbles and all of the um, air particles out. I learned a little bit. So, anyway, we put the halo in. Water's bitching. Water is bitching. <laughs> Dishes come out perfect. You go into a bath and you just lay there in that soft water and a little bit of shampoo and it goes all over, you know? Well, <laughs> Jesus hates me. And frankly, I hate him. My life is made miserable by your Jesus. He says, David has too, too much fun. He's too damn comical. I hate the guy. Well, all right. So, I tell my wife all the time, honey, you need to get ready in the morning to go to work in the afternoon. Hell, you can't change anybody. You can't change if you hold a gun to somebody's head. Oh, they'll do it while the gun is there. But as soon as you holster the gun, the asshole comes right back out of them. All right. So she waits till the last minute to go to work. So I send my daughter up to take a shower upstairs. And pretty soon she's screaming, Dad, there's no hot water. I said, well... You're taking a little trip to the Philippines. There's no hot water in the Philippines, so get used to it. <laughs> We're training you to take cold showers. And the water's coming out of the wall. In the Philippines, you have a bucket. And you dip it on your head. It's called a dipper. <laughs> she wasn't happy about that. So my wife goes in, and she starts to shower, and she says, Bard! <laughs> oh, shit. Now what? There's no hot water. I said, wait a minute. Wait. We have nearly $10,000 of machines sitting beside each other, and you can't get a hot shower. And you're the one making the payment on the machines, and you're going to work. That's right. <laughs> I had already called the plumber in the morning, uh, and it was Sunday morning, and I, I don't know, maybe he was in sacrament meeting. I don't give a shit, okay, where he was. And they said, well, he'll be there in two hours. I said, okay, I waited two hours. He didn't come. So I called the fat girl back. 
<laughs> How do I know she's fat? She talks fat on the phone. I don't know. It's like oh, my black friends, which I love because I have many black fans, friends that watch uh, my program because they know, you know, I don't discriminate. But damn, as soon as you get a black person on the phone, you know they're black. <laughs> you can see through the phone. Anyway, they're good people. I'm saying to myself, maybe I ought to call the company again. Now I thought to myself, have I taken my meds? I don't want to be arrested. <laughs> I've never been arrested. Uh, you know, you've got some comments down there that I, I don't answer comments because I don't want to get into uh, arguments. I don't want to have to think. I'm not going to change your mind. I'm not going to change your mind. So anyway, I call the lady back. <laughs> and I said, listen, fat lady. I'm not going to put you in the middle. All you're doing is answering the phone for a bunch of stupid people. But let me tell you something, and I want you to give them a message at the company there. The other part of the payment for the halo, which is about $1,400, I'm not going to pay when my wife has to take a cold shower to go to work on a $4,000 machine and a $3,000 machine that's putting pure water in it. Do I make myself clear? She says, very clear. <laughs> Damn, doorbell rings in 10 minutes. <laughs> Here's the plumber. <laughs> we want that money. She says, get your ass in there. You put it in. I paid for it. Fix it. So he comes out. I said, it worked perfectly until you guys put the halo unit in. He says, da uh, David, uh, Mr. Bard, <laughs> Sir David the Bard. I made him call me Sir David. Uh, anyway, he says, you know what happened? The guy that put the, um, the uh, halo in moved one of the wires on your hot water heater, and it's laying on the hot water pipe. So when the hot water comes through, the safety says, oh, shit, we're too hot. The wire goes, we're too hot, and it shuts it off. I said, move the wire up and put some insulation on that hot pipe and fixed it. Fixed it. So there's where my Sunday morning went today. And I have to tell you the truth. I would have rather had the hot water problem than go to sacrament meeting. <laughs> sacrament meeting is more painful. It's very painful. I can't take it. <laughs> and I had fun. And I learned. I didn't know there was a safety on the, uh, on the uh, hose going in to, uh, for electricity. So anyway, my, my daughter had to finish her shower uh, in the cold water, and my wife did. And, uh, and I told the guy that was here, I said, if that isn't fixed, I'm charging your company $500 a day for a cold water. <laughs> he said, I think we got it. <laughs> Call me in a couple of hours. <laughs> Humans, how did I get in this group? This is a hell for me. I must have had another life. And the Jesus Mises of that life says, you know, Sir David the Bard needs some real training. Send him to the earth <laughs> with the idiots we've already sent down there. It'll drive him nuts. Well, it has. It's worked. <laughs> you can't change a human being unless you cause physical pain on them, which is be able to be repeatable, or steal their money. If you take their money, they'll change. If you beat them, <laughs> waterboard them, which the Mormon Church invented, the guy from Oregon invented, who I guess was a bishop. Uh, if you waterboard them, <laughs> they're, they're inclined to change a little bit. But you know what? All those, um, those, uh, <laughs> I can't think. All the people they waterboarded, none of them changed. None of them changed. So anyway, I didn't want you to think I was dead. I was hoping that I would be dead. Uh, I haven't yet. <laughs> God, I pray every day to the atheist God, take me, take me. Jesus is persecuting me since I was a baby. <laughs> so there's my hot water heater story for Sunday. Now that was just Sunday, okay? I can go back on Saturday. I can go back on Monday. Now I did have fun. I did take the baby over swimming. And I still get in the water and play. She goes through my legs under the water bridge. And, you know, we play with each other all the time there in the pool and have a, a really fun time. But uh, Abigail, my oldest one, has decided uh, she wants to experience a third world country as a 15 year old. I said, You got it, babe. If you can send your 15-year-old to the Philippines, 
and have her supervised and safe. Send her! She'll learn! <laughs> there is no hot water. There is no enough food. There's no refrigerator. There's seldom running water, and the water will poison you. You crap in the ground. There's no uh, toilets that have water and, and sewer systems. They're just not there. There's no bus um, service. You ride what they call a tricycle, which is a 200-year-old motorcycle with a cage on the back of it for animals, and you slip into the cage, and you put a handkerchief on your nose because there's dust that will kill you because <laughs> the roads are not paved. She wants to experience it. I told her, I said, you know, you can stay here, but you're going to go to school and, uh, you know, look like a girl, act like a girl, and be a girl. And, uh, you know, I'm going to buy your clothes, and I'm done with the gangster hats and uh, bracelets and, and tattoos. And I said, you know what, we ain't Mormon. But, you know, the Mormons don't usually do that shit. Well, I hate the Mormons. I said, well, you know, we don't hate anybody in this family. I said, you can hate their doctrine, but the people are just stupid. The people are just hoodwinked. I hate them. I said, well, you know, you, you make a good Mormon because they hate everybody. So anyway, Wednesday, as far as I know, um, she'll be in the Philippines, and, and we'll see uh, when she decides <laughs> to come back. And <laughs> it won't be a week, but she's not coming back in a week. Anyway. There's where my Saturday went, tearing her room apart. And, you know, I, I ran residential treatment for years as a professional person. I could do a shakedown in a cell in a minute. And I find under the mattresses cell phones. She's not allowed to have a cell phone. We took hers, but her friend gave her a cell phone. I said, Let me have that cell phone. She said, Well, that belongs to my friend. I said, But you were hiding it. Said, well, yeah. So I took it down the concrete and I took a hammer to it. And I said, Tell her you weren't very careful with it when you give it back to her. <laughs> I'm telling you, teenagers and the ones that want to rebel sometimes, they can be a handful. They can be a handful. So anyway, uh, I wouldn't be alive without my video cameras because I spotted her <laughs> sneaking that out from the mattress. And uh, so anyway, there was my Saturday packing a child, and she wanted to take boots and gloves and, and coats to the Philippines. I said, honey, it's never under 90 degrees there. You're not going to need that. And she said, well, I don't want to get wet. I said, God, it rains every 20 minutes in the Philippines. And one month in the middle of the summer, our summer, you're under two feet of water. The whole island is under two feet of water until it recedes. Snakes, spiders, scorpions. Iguanas, <laughs> wild kids are all hiding under the water. So, so enjoy walking to school in that. So anyway, uh, that was my Saturday, and, and I don't really want to go into my Friday or any other days of the week. But sometimes when I don't record, I actually have to live. I actually have to discipline my kids. I actually have to uh, sleep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and a couple of you, you're so damn funny. Um, the Sir Girl and uh, Young, uh, what's her first name? Anna. You, you two women are as funny as hell because <clears throat> Mercy yelled up here one day on the intercom, Dave, you need to take your bath. <laughs> oh, God, she said that to a half a million people. So now these girls will say, well, David, did you take your bath today? And the answer is, hell no, the water was so cold. The penis has been gone for years, but he'll be gone for centuries if I dip him in that cold water. I'm not that cruel. <laughs> so, the answer today is not yet. Not yet. And uh, I did want to answer straight um, that I don't get into conversations with people. I just don't. It's not worth it. If you can't figure your life out for yourself, screw you. I did. I had to do it all by myself. I had no one to talk to. And so, anyway, uh, who is it? Allison. Yes. Water heater. What? Water heater again. And, um, what is? The water heater. The water heater again? Yes, and then I had to take a cold shower. And you took a cold shower? I took it. I, I can take you it. You can take it? All right, get out of here. Let me finish this, and I'll call the plumber again.
<laughs> the baby's frozen. <laughs> My Sunday continues. It wasn't what we thought it was. Well, anyway. Have a good Sunday. I hope it's better than mine. I'll go down and start kicking the shit out of $10,000 worth of fancy machines. <laughs> Call the plumber and go, get the hell out of here. It's 500 a day. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not dead, but I'm bipolar. You know that. And when people say you need more meds, and I agree with them, but I can't afford them. <laughs> Seven or 800 a month, that's enough for me. <laughs> Just to keep me... Well, never balanced, but at least <laughs> unsuicidal and uh, when I'm depressed and running for president and thinking I'm going to win like Joseph Smith <laughs> when I'm manic. Thanks.